Tomorrow morning, the family of a retired Philadelphia police officer shot and killed 20 years ago will go before a judge to ask him to leave a man involved with the murder behind bars for another decade. As Eyewitness News reporter David Spun shows you, the retired officer's family is furious that the man may be let out of jail and soon. He's a larger than life type individual when it comes to the middle class, salt of the earth type regular guy contacted so many people and impacted so many people's lives. But retired Philadelphia police officer Frank King's life was cut short just a few days before Christmas 1998. And his two sons, who spoke with Eyewitness News, say they are still devastated. King and friends were relaxing at Reagan's on the Boulevard when authorities say several men walked in to cause trouble. A shotgun was put to a woman's head, the barmaid. He intervened probably saved her life. King was retired from the force at the time and was unarmed when he protected the bar employee. He was shot and killed. The man who pulled the trigger, Robert Ramirez, is behind bars for the rest of his life. Another man, Aaron Smith, was with Ramirez but did not pull the trigger and he was convicted of second degree murder. He's been in jail for almost 20 years. Smith was sentenced to life in prison. But a U.S. Supreme Court decision put out in 2016 indicated people like Smith need to be resentenced. We understand the ruling. Do we totally agree with it? No, but we will accept it. What the family will not accept is Smith getting out of prison in the near future. Ace King says he met personally with District Attorney Larry Krasner, who indicated he would possibly recommend parole for Aaron Smith. Overwhelmed, disgusted in how this family's been treated. Though Smith didn't pull the trigger, King and his family believe he should be behind bars for another 10 years. Ace King will read a victim impact statement in front of Aaron Smith and the judge on Tuesday. I am going against two defense attorneys on Tuesday. I am battling on both sides. I am my own advocate for my own family and other families. I am the law on my side and on my family's side and for my dad's name. The decision about parole will be up to the judge. In Philadelphia, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. DA Larry Krasner through a spokesman released the following statement to Eyewitness News about Aaron Smith, which reads in part, the defendant who is being resentenced did not fire, provide, or handle the gun used. He did not struggle with Officer King. He did not mastermind the robbery, lead it, or transport the other participants. He was convicted of the lesser charge of second-degree murder, also known as felony murder, rather than premeditated murder, first degree, because of his lower level of participation and culpability compared to other participants. We will, of course, keep you updated on this case.